Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your number Foundation, and today on the channel, we are going to take the worst potential youngster in all of FIFA 21 career mode, and through the power of dynamic potential, we're going to see if we can take this FIFA Zero and turn him into a FIFA hero. Now, yes, last year we we attempted the exact same thing in FIFA 20. Oh no! And uh, it did it didn't turn out so well. Well, it was a mixed bag. We were able to go ahead and get his potential to 99. But the growth system in FIFA 20 career mode wasn't all that great. And I think by the time he hit 30, which was like the age that you stop growing in FIFA generally, uh, he was only at 67. Effectively showing that dynamic potential last year was mediocre at best. Because really, it only had a practical effect on players who, one, already had a decent end potential, and two, were young enough so that it can actually change and grow. But this year, in FIFA 21, things have changed. And that is why we are revisiting this experiment for the second year in a row. And once again, for the second year in a row, the lowest potential youngster in the game is from the People's Republic of China. And as this man, Wang Zinghao. And even has the same surname as the player that we used from last year. Both of them were named Wang. As you can see, he's 19 years old. He starts out at a 42 overall, and he has a potential as a starter career mode of 51. Now, technically, there are players that actually have worse potential than him, but none of them were young enough that we could effectively use this experiment. Wang V19 allows us to get about at least, you know, 10 to 11 good years of solid stat growth. And using a program on the PC called the Cheat Engine, we are actually able to look behind the curtain and track in real time his potential for every single year and he is going to need all the dynamic potential that he can get because uh his stats are god awful at the start of crew mode as you can see two star skill moves two star weak foot and yeah it is just red and orange everywhere he's a cdm with 36 defensive awareness i think i have better defensive awareness i'm pretty sure there are keepers in fifa 21 career mode that if you switch to an outfield player they would still be higher rated statistically than wang zeng hao but in this video i'm going to attempt to take this 42 overall 51 potential scrub and somehow with the power of dynamic potential get him up close I would say if I can get him to 90 overall by the time he stops growing, I might have to change the channel to career mode god. And now I ask you guys, leave the comment down below, what is your prediction? What rating do you think I can get this weighing up to by the end of career mode? But for the second year in a row, I asked myself, when everyone had given up on this weighing, when his team had given up on him, when FIFA had given up on him, when even his grandma had given up, I, the fat Asian, will turn this little weighing into the ultimate wang. And if you too believe in the ultimate wang, go ahead, smush your heart, or right nipple this little like button right now, subscribe if you are new. Now, as you can see, I have set up this team to go ahead and ensure the optimal conditions to grow this little turd into a gold nugget. I have kept him in the Chinese Super League. He is on Guangzhou Evergrande, which is the highest rated team in the CSL. And you can see that I have surrounded this little wang with the best high potential youngsters in FIFA 21 career. This not only ensures that they'll basically be dominating and winning the Chinese Super League every single year, but since all these guys are young as well, they will be growing up and growing old alongside the little way. If you want to see a list of all the best young high potential youngsters in the game, I actually did a video on that just not too long ago. Leave that up in the iThings as well as the link at the end of the video. But please save that for later. Let's move on. Another change I did is I made the little Wang into a CDM. Originally, he was a center back. So Technically, this is a little bit of a cheat, but I have not altered anything else about him. The only reason why I moved him to CDM is if I kept him at center back, it would be hard for him to get play time. I feel like they would definitely just rotate him in, and him being 47, he was never going to get any play time in the Civic. So as you can see, he is the only CDM on the roster, and none of the cams or the center mids have the ability to play CDM. And by making it so that all the formations that the CPU can play have a CDM and only one CDM in it, it should ensure that he's going to get the maximum amount of play time. And play time seems to have a way bigger effect on players growth and development even more so than in any fifa pass now as you can see we're on january 1st of 2020 technically this is the start of career mode in the chinese super league and to further ensure that he's going to grow year on year i will manually take control of the little wang in one game per season i turned all my sliders all the way up and i'm going to score 25 goals and get 10 assists a decent season statistically for a striker let alone a cdm and then after that usually i would just sim the rest of the season um uh, but Something weird happened in FIFA 21. As you can see, we now sit on November 1st, near the end of our first in Guangzhou, of course, on top of the standings. And as you can see here, as compared to Trent Alexander-Arnold, who has made 36 appearances for the club, we're pretty much done with the season, and Wang Zhang Hao, in his first campaign, 
has appeared in zero. Despite him being the only CDM on this team and us constantly running a formation that demands a CDM, FIFA has changed. They have saw it fit to make the AI a lot more flexible in their simming and they have refused to play a 42, well now 43, overall at CDM at all this season, to which I say, how dare you EA, fix your game. <laughs> like yeah, like any intelligent human being would be like, oh, we should probably play Valverde or Bellingham, literally anyone but this 43 overall <laughs> scrub at CDM. So yeah, this is actually a good change for everyone, except specifically me, because now what this forces me to do is go back to the start of career mode and then enter into every single match and manually quick sip. This is the only way that I can force the AI into actually playing the little wang. But yeah, for you guys who aren't in the know, simming takes fucking long enough, but now I have to manually go in for at least 20 to 30 games per season and manually sim every one of these goddamn games. And remember, this experiment is targeted to go on for 10 to 11 seasons. Yes, I have literally been simming four days trying to get this experiment done. So please sauce me that pity like because I have no life. And even when I manually sim the game, the AI subs them out faster than Eric Dyer on All or Nothing. Oh, it's halftime? Get out. Yeah, I would say roughly two thirds of the game he's yanked before the 60 minute mark. And at the end of one season, making 30 appearances, scoring 42 goals and having 19 assists and growing by plus three overall. His potential, which started out, I remind you, at a 51 is now 51. <laughs> Which is not a great sign, but let's go ahead, hop into season two and see if it doesn't change at the start of the next season. Go time wizard! And in season two, he's actually grown by plus one. If we check his potential, Okay, it has grown. It's gone from 51 to 56. We can get the potential to raise by five every single year. We're gonna be good. You gotta remember, he's 20 years old. If we can get his potential to grow by five every single year for the next 10 years, that's plus 50 potential. That'll put him at 106 potential. Well, 99. The bigger question is, will he grow fast enough? He only grew by plus three last season. Let's keep on moving on. So yeah, year two, same shit. Score a shit ton of goals. Scored so much, in fact, that he ended up getting hurt, but somehow healed himself when he celebrated, and then he wasn't injured after that. But the game said that it was the second injury of the game and that second injury was to the same guy it was little way and even after the game he wasn't hurt so yeah not everything in career mode is fixed yet but we move and we keep on manually simming with wang getting in there wang keeps on getting subbed out before the 60th minute after wasting my youth manually simming my brain into a mush we get to the end of season two and little wang made 32 appearances scored 27 goals and had five assists and he improved to a 50 overall and when we look at his potential you can see that it jumped up to a 61. So once again, a growth of potential by five. And this time a growth of plus four to his overall. And that is noteworthy because he's at the age of 21. For him to get a chunk of four at the age of 21 is pretty unusual. In FIFA's past, you usually don't get these chunks of four or five until you're the age of 23, 24. So let's go ahead. We run it back for season three. We score a bajillion goals in a single match and somehow do not win man of the match. But you guys kind of know the deal. We've simmed ahead two seasons now. We're at the start of season five, technically. You can see that when we last Last checked in with Wang, he was 50 overall. He's grown by 11 up to 61. So that's a growth of five and six for the last two seasons. And you can see that his potential has gone up to 71. So basically like clockwork, every single season that we've given him enough play time and enough goals, he's grown by five in his potential and his overall. So we move on. More manual simming, more scoring bags of goals, more random dudes taking Wang's man of the match. My only conclusion is that EA are racist and they don't want to see a Chinaman shine. Although honestly, Wang doesn't even look all that Chinese. In fact, he kind of looks Mexican. But you guys know the deal. Let's go ahead, sim ahead a couple of seasons more. Go time with it. And now, as you can see, at the age of 26, the little Wang has grown into a moderately sized Wang. He is now all the way up to a very respectable rating of 75. Reminder, at 19 years old, this dude was rated 42 overall. So in seven years time, we've seen a growth of 33. And if we look at his potential at age 26, you can see that it has risen to 84, which is a little bit concerning because remember before this, he was essentially growing by five every single season. And at age 26, he's only got about four to five more years to keep growing. Will he be able to hit the 90 mark? It's, it's looking close, but let's keep on moving forward. Take it away, time was our. Go time was it. Now the next season probably saw the most change come to the little Wang. Up until this point, I had not used any development plans. Everyone on the squad was balanced, which is good early on because generally all of his stats suck. But now that he was up into the 70s, I went ahead and I switched it into deep flying playmaker and the results were dramatic. 
after a year, a single year of simming, he grew by plus seven. He went from a 76 to an 83. And above that, I didn't I didn't manually do this. His skill moves all of a sudden jumped from two star skill moves to five star, I believe in a single season. For you guys who are unfamiliar, development plans are something new added into crew mode this year, which essentially allows you to do what chemistry styles did in FIFA Ultimate Team, allowing you to mold and shape this player into the type of player that you want. And Deep Lying Playmaker drastically raised all of his passing stats and his dribbling stats, which were complete shit, because you gotta remember, he started out at a 4-2 overall center back. So it goes to say, if I had been using these development plans, maybe from the beginning, he could, he might even be higher. But I'm eight seasons into this, of manually simming game after game after game. I have one brain cell left, I'm not going back. And then as for potential, we go ahead and take a look at it. It has gone all the way up to an 89. So our potential is right below 90 now. Now the issue is, is he's 27. In, in FIFA's past, once you hit 28, 29, growth starts to rapidly decline and even sometimes stats begin to deteriorate as soon as like age 29. So I don't know if we're gonna get another year of plus seven or even plus five after this. But alas, we move. Go time wizard! And now I'm gonna go ahead and blur out his overall to create a little bit of suspense. But I wanted to showcase to you at the start of the 10th season in career mode, we have taken this kid who had a potential of 51 and we have done the same thing that we were able to reach last year. And that is hit a potential of 99. It only took 10 long, long seasons of Civic. So dynamic potential in that aspect is working. But once again, he's a year older. He's gonna be 29 by the end of this year. How much is he growing per year? Will he be able to hit the 90 mark or even be more ambitious? Do you think he could actually hit the 99? Well, without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's just sim to the end right here, to the moment where the little Wang stopped growing. Go time wizard! As you can see, we are now on December 1st of 2031. We have painfully manually simmed 11 full seasons to get to this goddamn point. And was it worth it? Is dynamic potential worth a goddamn in FIFA 21 career mode? That's what you want to know. That's why you clicked on this video. And at the age of 31, Wang Zhenghao got up to a 90. Seven. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. The little Wang has become the ultimate Wang. It took a hell of a long time. 11 seasons. I don't know any of you people who were playing career mode for 11 seasons. But if you did, you could take the worst youngster in the game, 42 overall, and grow him by a massive 55 overall points. Raise his potential from 51 to 99. And you gotta remember, he started out life as a center back. And if you wanna compare and contrast, take a look at these stats, man. First thing off the bat, I never specified to train him in either skill moves or weak foot. I'm guessing it was part of some of the development plans that I put him through. And I switched it up after deep line playmaker. I went defensive midfielder. I did a season with anchor ban. And then I did another season with ball winning midfielder. All right, I see how I got now. If we go into development plans, if you assign him to anchor man, you're gonna see that that green little line is next to weak foot. It's at that line right now because he's at the max of five star. But if he wasn't, it'd have like an arrow above it. And honestly, I don't think I had him on anchor man for more than a season, which means you can get five star, five star, in two seasons with almost any player. And just comparing his stats from the start of career mode to where he is now is simply outrageous. He went from 49 sprint speed to 95 sprint speed, 55 strength to 98 strength. He went from a ball control of 30 to 95, a growth of 65. And I think the most dramatic was his long passing was at 25 and it got all the way up to a 94, a growth of 69. Nice. He has 98 short pass and he started life as a center back. This 41 overall Chinaman with 51 potential has now ended his career with a higher short pass rating than Iniesta in any iteration of FIFA. At the start of career mode, his value was 90,000. Not 900,000, 90,000. And as you see, at the age of 31, his value is $187 million. That is an increase of over 200,000%. And truly, this has to be a FIFA world record. That is right. This fat Asian owns a world record in something. <laughs> this is why I went to college. Now, here's the big question that I'm gonna ask you guys right now, and I, I wanna hear you guys' opinion in the comment section, and that is, is this a good thing? Is dynamic potential actually a little bit too strong? Because I've already seen a couple of people say like, oh yeah, this breaks immersion, EA messed up. But for me, I think 
yeah, generally it's a net positive. You gotta remember, only a few FIFAs ago in career mode, it was very easy to just stunt the physical growth of players. Like sometimes sprint speed or stamina would just never grow. So I am always going to side on too much growth versus too little. Yes, it is hyper effective. It's actually pretty ridiculous that we took this guy and turned him into a 97 overall. But you gotta remember that this uber dramatic growth only really affects your starting 11. Even your substitutes and reserves don't really grow all that much. And remember that dynamic potential only affects your team. So none of the CPU teams that you're gonna be running up against are gonna have like these monster 99 teams. And there's a very simple fix if you don't want just like a random low potential player to get super high. And that is don't play them. It's as easy as that. If you don't want the little Wang to grow into the ultimate Wang, then just just don't buy them, don't play them. And also I would like to point out that this took 11 seasons to do. Like, yeah, there's a handful of people who are gonna play this long, but the majority of people are not gonna play any longer than maybe two, three seasons max. I'm going to say this now, I'm gonna go further into it in my yearly review. What this video showcases is that high potential is done in career mode. It doesn't matter. Anyone who plays career mode can use whoever they want. Whatever youngster that you think that you enjoy playing with it, that your personal fan of go ahead and use them in your starting lineup and they will grow into a usable player but if you're gonna play like one or two seasons i'd still probably use the high potential youngsters i actually have a lot more thoughts on this subject but i'm gonna save some of the bullets for my annual review of fifa career mode which is gonna be coming out next saturday so if you aren't subscribed to the channel go ahead subscribe turn on notifications and if you guys who already have notifications on go ahead turn it off and turn it back on to refresh it so that youtube doesn't miss you but that is going to be it for this video we did it ladies and gentlemen we made the little wang into the old ultimate wang um thank you guys for watching thank you to all of my patrons who are keeping the lights on right now and keeping this fat asian alive during the pandemic you are literally saving a life if you would like to go ahead and join the one dollar army go ahead and click on the i think is over here if you want to check out the best young high potential players that are now useless in career mode go ahead and click over here dixie poos you want to check out something completely different go ahead and click over here but until next time guys stay safe and stay thick